When the new season of the Jamaica Women's Premier League was launched last November, JFF President Michael Ricketts expressed confidence that with talks at an advanced stage, the governing body would have a title sponsor in place in short order. But nearly two months in, it appears those talks have fizzled, leaving the JFF to resort to using FIFA subventions, which sees each club receiving a mere $750,000 for the season. Now Michael Peart, who is the manager of Olympic Gardens, one of only two Kingston and St. Andrew-based clubs, says his team is struggling to maintain their program. Finance, we have a little finance, financial problem because every time the players come, you know, it costs and, you know, we're having some trouble getting sponsors and so. So we have to schedule, we have to cut down on some of the days because we don't have the money for, for reimburse them for, for traveling. So that will give a major, major problem. However, according to JFF General Secretary Dennis Strong, clubs have already received half of their subvention with one requirement for them to get the remaining tranche. The reason why it was broken down like that is because we said to them, this is $375,000. Give us the receipts supporting the, the, the payments or the spend for that 375000 and then the rest of it will come, right? And we've had to do it like that because in the past, what we've had is that funds have been disbursed and we have not been able to get the, um, the, the, the spend accounted for. Chung argued that clubs should also seek to obtain their own sponsors. The other thing to consider also, though, is that 750000 is not a lot of money in terms of what needs to be done. And therefore, the hope is that, you know, clubs would go out and get sponsorship. You know, it can't be expected that JFF will give you money to fund every single thing. You know, clubs have to go out and get sponsorship. Like what happens everywhere else. But according to Peart, it's not for a lack of trying. I'm very disappointed because, I mean, we, you know, we, we see the national team to the World Cup. So we are saying, yeah, our players should have a bit more comfortable. We should have able to train four days and able to give them both sphere and refreshment and food for them can go back home. The Jamaica Women's Premier League is in the cross zone stage with round one of the knockout competition scheduled for February 4 before round two of the league is contested. Karen Madden. TVJ Sports. Overseas now?